After crossing the world of cultivating immortals, Chen Lang awakened the gift system, and any item gifted can receive a tenfold return. Lingshir, send, send. Pills, deliver, deliver, deliver. Delivery, return, return. Chen Lang. So cultivating immortals can still be so enjoyable. Chapter 1. I am not lack of spiritual stones. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. On the first day of each month, it is the day when Ling Yun sect distributes spirit stones to their disciples. This should have been a happy day, but Chen Lang's face was full of sadness. Chen Lang, let's go and collect the spirit stone. If there are too many people in a while, we'll have to queue up in a long line. The speaker's name is Tan Fei. He entered the sect in the same year as Chen Lang and practiced for less than a year. Now, he has reached the third level of qi refining. Although Chen Lang is also extremely hardworking in his cultivation, his talent is limited and he has not yet broken through to the second level of the qi refining stage. At the end of this month, it is the day of the year. End assessment. All external disciples who cannot break through to the third level of the qi refining period will be discouraged by Ling Yun sect. After all, the resources of the sect are not brought by strong winds, and it is impossible to waste them indefinitely on disciples with mediocre qualifications. So disciples like Chen Lang, who have been practicing for nearly a year and still have the first level of qi refining, will receive the spiritual stone issued by the sect for the last time. Chen Lang let out a long sigh and replied, Let's go. The outer disciples of Ling Yun's sect all live at the foot of the mountain, while the Yuan Bao Hall, which distributes spirit stones, is located on the mountainside. On the blue stone boardwalk up the mountain, most of them were outer disciples dressed in grey robes. They gathered together in groups of three, discussing topics related to year. end assessments. Someone has successfully broken through to the third floor of the gas refining period and has met the requirements of the year. end assessment, speaking calmly and confidently. Some people feel uneasy and look forward to sprinting through the third level of the qi refining period in the last month. As for someone like Chen Lang, who is still in the refining stage to this day, his face turned pale and his head drooped. Feeling Chen Lang's mood feeling a bit low, Tan Fei spoke up to comfort him, Chen Lang, don't be discouraged. Isn't there still one month left? After receiving this month's spiritual stone, sprint. As long as you successfully break through to the second level of the qi refining period, I will lend you my spiritual stone for this month. Maybe there is still a chance to meet the assessment requirements. Chen Lang looked at Tan Fei and saw the latter's serious expression, his heart couldn't help but warm. He is currently at the peak of the first layer of the gas refining period, and the spiritual buy on the second layer of the gas refining period has been polished by him for three months. After receiving this month's spiritual stone, it is highly likely that he can break through to the second layer of the gas refining period. Even if he successfully broke through to the second floor of the gas refining period and only had one month left until the year.end assessment, even if Tan Fei was willing to borrow his spirit stone, Chen Lang had no confidence in breaking through to the third floor of the gas refining period. Unless there are enough condensing pills. The condensing qi pill, a pill that assists in cultivation during the qi refining period, can greatly increase the efficiency of the user's qi refining. One pill is worth ten spiritual stones, which is far beyond the affordability of a poor guy like Chen Lang. Tan Fei had already spent all his savings last month in order to hit the third floor of the gas refining period. This month, I can receive three spirit stones. Even if I lend them all to Chen Lang, it is far from enough for Chen Lang to break through to the third level of gas refining. Thinking of this, Chen Lang shook his head with a bitter smile and patted Tan Fei's shoulder, saying, You can keep the spiritual stone for cultivation yourself. I understand your kindness. Even if you lend me all the spiritual stones, I don't have the confidence to break through to the third level of the qi refining stage. Tan Fei hesitated to speak and wanted to say some encouraging words, but when the words reached his lips, he swallowed them back. 
he actually knew that Chen Lang's hope of breaking through to the third level of the Qi refining stage was too slim. When Chen Lang and his companions arrived at the Yuanbao Hall, they found that there was already a long queue at the entrance. Chen Lang's legs were almost numb from standing, so it was finally his turn. Disciple Chen Lang, come and collect the spirit stone. The deacon in charge of distributing the spirit stones was a chubby man named Wu Jingyi, with a cultivation in the early period of foundation construction. His divine sense swept over Chen Lang, and his expression suddenly became cold. It's almost the end of year assessment, you're only in the first stage of refining gas. What a waste. I don't know which blind bastard recruited you into the sect. Isn't this a waste of sect resources? Being scolded in public, Chen Lang lowered his head in shame and blushed to the base of his neck. Wu Jingyi grabbed a spirit stone in his eyes, about the size of soybeans, rolled around. He squinted at Chen Lang and said, If you can't pass the year.end assessment, why don't you show filial piety to this elder with this spirit stone? Chen Lang looked up at Wu Jingyi, his eyes full of disbelief. The elder who built the foundation of the hall actually coveted the spirit stone of one of his outer disciples. Elder Wu, I. Before Chen Lang could finish speaking, he felt like he had been forcefully pushed out of the Yuanbao Hall, and finally fell to the ground, feeling very embarrassed. The outer disciples who were queuing up to receive the spirit stone at the back looked at Chen Lang with pity upon seeing this scene. Wu Jingyi was notorious for his greed for money in Lingyun sect, often using various reasons to cheat on the spiritual stones of external disciples. All the disciples dared not speak out in anger. Chen Lang rubbed his buttocks and was about to get up, but a series of voice prompts suddenly rang out in his mind, and a burst of ecstasy appeared in his pitch-black pupils. The system has finally arrived. Congratulations to the host for activating the gift system. Items gifted by the host to others will receive ten times the system's refund. Detected that the host gifted Wu Jingyi a spirit stone, and the system rewarded ten spirit stones. The reward items can be viewed in the system backpack and can be accessed at any time. Chen Lang, Chen Lang. What's wrong with you? Are you okay? Tan Fei's anxious voice rang in his ears, and Chen Lang finally regained his senses. He tightly grasped Tan Fei's arms with both hands, his face excited, and finally burst into laughter. Being tempted by Wu Jingyi's greed for spiritual stones, yet still able to laugh. Isn't it that you have lost your heart and gone crazy? The onlooker's disciple looked at Chen Lang with a deeper sense of pity. Tan Fei was greatly anxious when he saw Chen Lang's appearance. Chen Lang, Chen Lang. Don't do this, I'll help you retrieve the spirit stone. Tan Fei thought that Chen Lang had become like this because he had been robbed of the spirit stone by Wu Jingyi, and then walked towards the Yuanbao Hall. Chen Lang grabbed Tan Fei. Let's go back. After Chen Lang finished speaking, he took Tan and flew towards the foot of the mountain. Wu Jingyi snorted coldly inside the Yuanbao Hall. If Tan Fei really dares to come in and demand the spirit stone, he doesn't mind giving it a lesson. Chen Lang held on to Tan Fei all the way until he returned to the dormitory and finally released his hand. Chen Lang, that's your hope of breaking through to the second level of the refining phase. Did you just give up like that? Chen Lang looked at Tan Fei with a burning gaze, which made Tan Fei's heart ache. Chen Lang, don't look at me like that. What's wrong with you? Don't scare me. Chen Lang suddenly smiled, he could feel that Tan Fei was really worried about him. Having been with Tan Fei for nearly a year, Chen Lang knew deeply that this young man was a kind hearted and good person, and immediately made a decision in his heart. I saw him close the door and walk to the table. With a thought, ten spirit stones appeared on the table. Tan Fei widened his eyes and looked incredulous. Um. Where did you get so many spirit stones? Chen Lang extended his right index finger to his lips, gesturing for Tan Fei to remain silent. Tan Fei, even now, I won't hide it from you. Actually, I don't lack spirit stones. 
Chapter 2 Bathroom Storm You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chen Lang pushed the spirit stone towards Tan Fei. These ten spirit stones are for you. Tan Fei was completely shocked, his breathing became somewhat rapid, and his eyes were filled with disbelief. For him, ten spirit stones are undoubtedly a huge sum of money. Even though he has already reached three levels of qi refining, he only receives three spirit stones every month. Although he wanted to accept this spirit stone in his heart, the kind one still refused. Chen Lang, I cannot accept these ten spirit stones. You should keep them for cultivation. The year.end assessment is approaching, and you need these spirit stones even more. Chen Lang Ban raised his face and pretended to be angry, saying. I've said I don't lack spirit stones. If you really treat me as a friend, then accept this spirit stone. I naturally treat you as a friend, but. Don't be fooled, just accept this spirit stone as a friend. Under Chen Lang's insistence, Tan Fei ultimately accepted the spirit stone. Detected that the host gifted Tan Fei ten spirit stones, and the system rewarded him with one hundred spirit stones. They have been distributed to the system backpack. Listening to the mechanical voice prompts in his mind, Chen Lang's mind was stirred and for a moment he doubted whether he was dreaming. I saw his mind move and a spirit stone appeared in his hand. Chen Lang clenched tightly onto the spirit stone, feeling its unique texture. It was only then that he was convinced that his spring had finally arrived. Tan Fei, hide the spirit stone well and remember not to reveal your wealth. Additionally, the matter of giving you the spirit stone must not be known by others, otherwise there may be a risk of life. Tan Fei nodded repeatedly. Chen Lang didn't have a storage bag, but he took out eleven spirit stones out of thin air. This method deeply shocked Tan Fei. Does Chen Lang have the legendary storage space? He can't be the young master of some hidden world clan, can he? Chen Lang patted Tan Fei's shoulder and said with a smile, Good brother, you can follow me from now on and keep your food and drink spicy food safe. Tan Fei nodded heavily when he saw Chen Lang's words without any doubts in his heart. After Chen Lang finished speaking, he climbed onto his bed and sat down to start running the Lingyun technique. With the operation of the cultivation method, the spiritual power in the spirit stone began to be pulled into the body by Chen Lang, and together with Chen Lang's own spiritual power, they converged into a spiritual energy mass, starting to impact the spiritual barrier in the Dantian. During the Qi refining period, there are a total of nine spiritual barriers, and every time a barrier is broken through, the space for storing spiritual power in the elixir field increases by one point. Chen Lang has only broken through the first barrier now, and his spiritual power reserves are extremely thin. Even with the assistance of spiritual stone spiritual power, the effect is still not significant. Fortunately, the second barrier has been polished by Chen Lang for three months, and now only a thin layer remains. However, despite this, it took Chen Lang a full three hours to completely break through the second barrier, sweating profusely in consuming two spirit stones. My qualifications are too poor. Chen Lang let out a bitter smile in his heart, and the joy of awakening the system was diluted. He and Tan Fei entered Lingyun sect for cultivation at the same time, with the same starting point, resources, and efforts, but the ultimate results of their cultivation were vastly different. This is the gap in cultivation talent. Chen Lang turned his head to look at Tan Fei and found him immersed in his cultivation. Without disturbing him, he carefully opened the door and walked towards the bathhouse. During the process of breaking through the second layer of the gas refining period, a large amount of impurities in Chen Lang's body were washed out of the body by spiritual power, and at this moment, he was covered in a foul odor. Arriving outside, the sky had already darkened and the bright moon was hanging high. Chen Lang took a deep breath and walked towards the bathhouse under the moonlight. The outer gate of Lingyun sect has over 800 disciples, divided into four regions based on the time of entry. A, B, C, and D, all living at the foot of the mountain. 
Chen Lang is the latest beginner, located in District D. The outer disciples of Ding District do not have independent bathrooms, and if they want to take a shower, they can only go to public bathrooms. Perhaps due to budget constraints, there is only one public bathhouse in District D, half for male disciples and the other half for female disciples. This year's Ding District has over 200 external disciples, including over 150 male disciples. In this way, male disciples usually have to wait outside the bathhouse for a long time before entering to take a shower. When Chen Lang arrived at the bathhouse, there was already a queue of more than 10 meters outside the men's bathhouse, with about 20 male disciples waiting in line. Due to the fact that the female disciple's bathhouse was right next to her, the male disciple who was queuing deliberately lined up to the other side of the female bathhouse. Listening to the sound of the female disciples playing in the water in the bathhouse, they all showed lewd smiles on their faces. Chen Lang walked to the end of the queue and stood in line. His position happened to be at the entrance of the women's bathroom, and through the gap in the door, he could vaguely see some scenery inside the women's bathroom. At this moment, Chen Lang could only feel a tremendous force coming his body flew uncontrollably towards the women's bathhouse, causing screams and screams from inside. Chen Lang pleaded guilty and left the women's bathhouse as if fleeing. Ha ha ha! The male disciples queuing outside the door burst into laughter, and their smiles became even more lewd as they watched Chen Lang's disheveled face. How about it, does it look good inside? The speaker was a burly young man named Ding Xiangnan, with a hoarse face, who was looking at Chen Lang with a contemptuous expression. Just now, it was him who kicked Chen Lang into the women's bathhouse. Chen Lang glared angrily at Ding Xiangnan, but couldn't say a harsh word, feeling powerless in his heart. Ding Xiangnan is a cultivation with four levels of qi refining stage. He is very famous among the outer disciples of Ding District and has also practiced the body refining technique. His strength is even greater than that of a cow. Seeing Chen Lang's bold and hesitant demeanor, Ding Xiangnan scolded the skinny young man next to him in a loud voice. Waste, what about asking you, mute? Chen Lang gave the skinny young man a fierce look in his eyes. What's up? What do you mean by that look in your eyes? Did you say you're a trash? You're not convinced. The skinny boy spoke while pushing and shoving Chen Lang's chest. Chen Lang clenched his fists tightly, and two little people were constantly arguing in his heart. Fuck him. Can't do it, Su Mingho. He is in the third level of the Qi refining period. Chen Lang quickly arrived at the entrance of the women's bathhouse under the push and shove of the skinny young man Su Mingho. Su Mingho's eyes flickered and he slapped Chen Lang on the chest. Chen Lang's body involuntarily flew towards the women's bathroom, and at this moment, the door of the women's bathroom was opened. In the next moment, Chen Lang felt like he had fallen into a soft and fragrant embrace, smelling a pleasant aroma. Immediately after, his body naturally fell and he fell to the ground with a firm grip. Chen Lang fell and felt dizzy and dizzy. When he stood up, he saw a blushing face, like a ripe red apple. Li Qingqing Chen Lang quickly apologized, but did not receive forgiveness from Li Qingqing, who came to his senses and kicked him out of the women's bathhouse. Li Qingqing, a genius girl in the fifth stage of qi refining, has a beautiful voice, sweet family background, and is the goddess in the hearts of countless young people. Damn it! Upon hearing the voice of Li Qingqing coming from the female bathroom, Ding Xiangnan and Su Mingho exchanged a glance and quickly ran away. Li Qingqing already had a cultivation level of five levels during the Qi refining period, but this was not enough to make Ding Xiangnan and his companions run away immediately. The key is that Li Qingqing has a brother nicknamed Guardian Sister Mad Demon, Li Qinghan. Li Qinghan, the strongest person in the Outer Gate Jia district, achieved great success in the Qi refining period. If Li Qinghan finds out that it was the two of them who provoked Li Qingqing, he will definitely be beaten up. Li Qingqing's beautiful eyes were filled with evil spirits. 
As she walked out of the women's bathhouse, she noticed that the male disciples waiting in line for a shower had retreated to a very distant distance, their eyes all looking elsewhere, showing a seemingly unrelated demeanor. Chen Lang stood up, his heart pounding as he looked at Li Qingqing's beautiful face within reach, unsure of what to say for a moment. Li Qingqing, as the goddess of Outer Gate Ding District, Chen Lang had fantasized countless times about the scenes he met, but he never expected it to be the current scene. Tell me, who pushed you into the women's bathroom? Ah! Chen Lang was stunned for a moment, then announced the names of Ding Xiangnan and Su Mingho. Li Qingqing remembered the names of these two people and asked, What's your name? Chen. Chen Lang. Li Qingqing nodded and said coldly, I remember the names of the three of you. Chen Lang let out a thud in his heart, secretly saying that something was wrong. This little girl might be going to complain to her brother. Li Qingqing, let's take a step to talk. Chen Lang led Li Qingqing for more than ten steps and arrived at the foot of a big tree, whispering in a low voice. I offended you today, it was my fault, but I didn't mean to. It was Ding Xiangnan and the others who pushed me forward. I can compensate for the spirit stone. After hearing this, Li Qingqing raised the corner of his mouth slightly and said, How many spirit stones are you planning to compensate me with? Chen Lang extended a palm. Five spirit stones. Li Qingqing thought to himself, this guy is quite sincere. The five spirit stones should be all his savings, and he immediately wanted to forgive Chen Lang. It's not five yuan, it's fifty yuan, Chen Lang said Li Qingqing's apricot eyes widened, and even she couldn't help but take a cold breath. On second thought, if Chen Lang were really so wealthy, would he still be bullied by others? This kid must be teasing me. I'm afraid I can't even take out five spirit stones in my hand, what a jerk. Li Qingqing was about to get angry when he found a spirit stone in Chen Lang's hands. Put it away quickly, don't let anyone discover it. Upon hearing this, Li Qingqing immediately put the spirit stone into the storage bag, feeling extremely shocked in his heart. This spiritual stone, no more, no less, exactly ten yuan. Is it true that this kid wants to compensate me with fifty spirit stones? At this moment, another spirit stone appeared in Chen Lang's hand. Don't be stunned, put it away quickly. Li Qingqing regained his senses and once again put all the spirit stones into the storage bag. In just a short moment, Li Qingqing received fifty spirit stones, a considerable amount. You. At this moment, Li Qingqing's gaze towards Chen Lang completely changed, and he couldn't say anything shocked. What exactly is this person from? He can even take out fifty spirit stones in one breath. Chen Lang asked, Can you forgive me now? At this moment, Li Qingqing's brain was in a state of shutdown, just nodding mechanically. Chen Lang saw the timing was ripe and took advantage of the heat to build the railway. Li Qingqing, I know you have a condensation pill in your hand. Can you sell it to me? I'll offer you twenty spirit stones. Chapter 3 Gift of Condensing Chi Pill You are listening at NovelFull.audio Buy a condensing chi pill for twenty spirit stones. Li Qingqing frowned like a willow leaf and glanced at Chen Lang, who was dirty all over. It was difficult to associate the destitute young man in front of him with the four words, wealth and wealth. She did indeed have a condensing chi pill in her hand, which was a reward given by her sect after winning first place in the Ding District Martial Arts Competition last month. She had originally planned to keep it for use when she reached the sixth level of the chi refining stage. The value of a condensing chi pill is only ten spirit stones in the market, but the young man named Chen Lang in front of him is offering twenty spirit stones. Isn't this rushing to deliver the spirit stone to her? Does this kid have any intentions towards himself? Seeing Li Qingqing not speaking, Chen Lang thought she was disgusted by the low price, so he increased the price again. Thirty spirit stones. Li Qingqing opened her mouth and looked at Chen Lang speechless. Chen Lang gritted his teeth and said, 40 spirit stones. 
this is the highest price I can offer. Upon hearing Chen Lang's quotation, Li Qingqing's heart skipped a beat and she clearly felt some difficulty breathing. Sell. I'll sell. Upon hearing Li Qingqing's final agreement, Chen Lang breathed a sigh of relief. It was also difficult to find spiritual stones for the condensing qi pill outside the door. Chen Lang can only purchase the precious pill of condensing qi pill from the market set up by the cultivator. But Chen Lang has never been to Fangshu, let alone know where it is. Lingyun sect naturally has alchemists who can refine them, but they are all sold by furnace. The price of a furnace of condensed gas pills is around 100 spirit stones, and the number of completed pills may not be certain, mostly hovering between 8 and 15. Chen Lang was just a little karami in Lingyun sect, and no one knew him. Naturally, he couldn't invite the alchemists on the mountain to refine his pills for him, so he could only purchase from Li Qingqing. Just now, I gave Li Qingqing fifty spirit stones, which were successfully awarded by the system. Now, he has 549 spirit stones in his system backpack. In Chen Lang's opinion, purchasing the condensing qi pill from Li Qingqing's hand with 40 spiritual stones is worth it. Moreover, as long as Chen Lang receives a condensing qi pill, he can receive a tenfold return from the system by gifting it to others. Soon, Chen Lang delivered all 40 spirit stones. After receiving the spirit stone, Li Qingqing took out a brown medicine bottle from the storage bag. The mouth of the bottle was blocked by a wooden stopper and sealed with wax, indicating how much Li Qingqing valued this condensed qi pill. Chen Lang did not choose to open the medicine bottle on sight, but immediately put it into his arms, scanned the surroundings, and after confirming that no one was paying attention, he breathed a light sigh of relief. He was about to resign from queuing up for a shower at the bathhouse, but found that Li Qingqing was hesitant to speak. Chen Lang asked, What's wrong? Li Qingqing's cheeks turned red and he stuttered, Um. Chen Lang. Could you leave a divine sense imprint on my transmission jade slip? After Li Qingqing finished speaking, he took out a blue jade slip and handed it to Chen Lang. As long as Chen Lang left his divine sense on the Chuanin Jade Slip, the two could contact each other through the Chuanin Jade Slip. Chen Lang's face showed an awkward expression. He was previously poor and had no spare money to buy Chuanin Jade Slips. Sorry, I haven't had a chance to purchase Tranchen Jade Slips yet. Chen Lang's face showed a regretful expression, imprinted with the transmission Jade Slip of Li Qingqing's divine consciousness. I don't know how many male disciples from other sects dream of it. Upon hearing this, Li Qingqing quickly took out a brand new Chuanin Jade slip from the storage bag. I happen to have a new Chuanin Jade slip here, let's give it to you today. Chen Lang felt a bit embarrassed as he touched his head and said with a silly smile, Why are you so embarrassed? Li Qingqing, however, ignored him and directly imprinted his divine sense on the new Chuanin Jade slip, then handed it to Chen Lang. Now imprint your divine sense in my transmission jade slip. Li Qingqing's smile was like a flower, her beauty was charming, and Chen Lang's mind was stirred by her. She took the Chuanin jade slip and imprinted it with her own divine sense. After imprinting his divine sense, Chen Lang whispered, Our transaction this time must be kept confidential. I don't want to reveal my identity. Upon hearing this, Li Qingqing's heart was shaken and he looked at Chen Lang's beautiful eyes, which were full of brilliance. Okay. After bidding farewell to Li Qingqing, Chen Lang was in a great mood and unconsciously hummed a tune while taking a shower. Now that he has the spirit stone and the condensing qi pill, he has absolute confidence in passing the year dot end assessment. Isn't it just the third floor of the gas refining period? It's a piece of cake. When Chen Lang returned to the dormitory after taking a shower, he saw that Tan Fei had finished his cultivation and even went to the cafeteria to fetch food. Disciples in the Qi refining period cannot reach the level of Pigu, so three meals a day are still essential. Upon seeing Chen Lang return, Tan Fei greeted him and said, You're back. The food is still hot, eat while it's hot. Chen Lang chuckled and sat down to enjoy his meal. 
He didn't even have time for lunch today to break through to the second floor of the gas refining period, and he was already starving by now. After finishing his meal, Chen Lang picked out a toothpick and watched Tan Fei tidy up the dishes. Over the past year, Tan Fei has been doing all the miscellaneous work in the dormitory, working tirelessly. Chen Lang is not a lazy person, but every time he wants to get involved in miscellaneous work, he is rejected by Tan Fei for absurd reasons. Your cultivation is not as good as mine. If you have this time, why not go to practice? Over time, Chen Lang stopped asking for help. Chen Lang knew that Tan Fei genuinely treated him as a friend, and Tan Fei only had him as a friend in Lingyin sect. If Chen Lang fails the year.end assessment, he will be discouraged by Ling Yunzong, and Tan Fei will become a lonely family. So Tan Fei has been doing his best to help Chen Lang. When Tan Fei finished washing the dishes, Chen Lang got up and closed the door. He took out a brown porcelain bottle from his arms and placed it on the table. Guess what this is? Chen Lang said mysteriously. Tan Fei wiped away the remaining water stains on his hands and curiously looked at the porcelain vase on the table. What kind of treasure is this? The bottle mouth is even sealed with wax. Chen Lang pushed the porcelain vase towards Tan Fei and said, Open it and take a look. Tan Fei sat at the table, picked up the porcelain bottle, looked it over, and then peeled off the sealing wax from the bottle mouth. Before the cork was opened, a fragrance of pure spiritual power flowed out of the bottle, appearing to be elusive. Tan Fei's face showed a surprised expression and asked, This can't be the condensing qi pill, can it? There was a hint of surprise in Chen Lang's eyes. Before Tan Fei could open the porcelain bottle, he could guess the answer just by the faint aroma of the pill flowing out. Chen Lang said, It's indeed a condensation pill, now it's yours. Tan Fei stood up in shock at the words and sternly refused, No, I can't accept such a precious pill. You need it more than I do now. Chen Lang suddenly had a black line on his face. Tan Fei is good at everything, but he is too straightforward. He always hesitates when giving him something. Since I can give it to you, it means that I have so many condensing pills on my body that I can't use them all. You can rest assured to accept them. Tan Fei looked at Chen Lang with a suspicious expression on his face. Oh, you can take it. I really have a lot of condensing pills. From now on, Tan Fei, you should take one every day, as I said. Although Chen Lang pounded his chest loudly, it took him a lot of effort to persuade Tan Fei to accept the condensing qi pill. The system detected that the host gave Tan Fei a condensation pill, and the system rewarded him with 10 condensation pills. The reward has been distributed to the system backpack. Listening to the voice prompts from the system, Chen Lang smiled on his face. He spread his right hand and with a thought, a condensed qi pill emitting a strong fragrance appeared in his palm. Look, I'm not lying to you. Hurry up and eat the condensing qi pill, practice well, our good days are still ahead. I can't guarantee anything else, there are enough condensing qi pills at this stage. Tan Fei widened his eyes, only then did he fully believe that there were really enough condensation pills in Chen Lang's place. With enough condensing qi pills to assist in cultivation, Chen Lang can definitely pass the year.end assessment at the end of the month and stay with him in Lingyun sect for cultivation. Thinking of this, Tan Fei smiled happily, full of longing for the future. Chapter 4 Have You Slept? You are listening at NovelFull.audio. The next morning, with a faint dawn, the morning bell rang at the foot of Linyanfeng Mountain. The plan of the day lies in the morning, and the spiritual energy between heaven and earth is only most pure in the morning, making it easier for practitioners to absorb. The four areas of the outer gate each have a square, and each square is supervised by an outer gate elder during the construction period. At this time every day, all external disciples come to the square to start their morning practice of breathing and breathing. Practicing is a very arduous task, especially for second-rate sects like Ling Yun sect, where most of the disciples are of varying quality, with many being lazy and lax. 
Of course, most of the external disciples are very hard-working. They mostly come from poor backgrounds, and only by practicing hard can they have the opportunity to stand out. When Chen Lang and his companions arrived at Ding District Square, more than 40 people had already started practicing on the square. Last night, Chen Lang and Tan Fei each took a coagulation pill. When the morning bell rang, Chen Lang had just completely digested the medicine. In just one night, Chen Lang felt that the purity of spiritual power in the Dantian had significantly improved. According to his estimation, he could try to challenge the third level of the Qi refining period in no more than three days. Although he practiced all night, Chen Lang didn't feel sleepy at all, but instead felt energetic and energetic. Chen Lang glanced at Tan Fei and found that he had not yet regained his senses from the joy of refining the condensing qi pill. Sitting on the Pu Tuan in the square, his face was dull and he had not yet started to practice. As the gaze of the deacon swept towards this side, Chen Lang quickly patted Tan Fei's shoulder and reminded him, Don't be fooled, start breathing and practicing. If you keep daydreaming, the elder won't spare you. Tan Fei's eyes flickered with a hint of panic, and he quickly closed his eyes to start practicing martial arts. Deacons, especially those responsible for supervising morning practice, are the strictest. Once any lazy external disciples are discovered, they will be severely reprimanded and criticized by the elders. In severe cases, punishment may also be imposed, and the spirit stones distributed on the first day of the following month will be confiscated. The morning practice for an hour will soon come to an end. At this time, the sunlight will become warm, and the spiritual power between heaven and earth will become complex, greatly increasing the difficulty of absorption. After the deacon announced the end of the cultivation, the disciples all finished their practice and began to rush towards the cafeteria. Chen Lang's stomach was already starving and he practiced all night. Although he was full of energy, his body was very honest. But before he could take a few steps, he was stopped by a beautiful figure on his way. Chen Lang looked up and was somewhat surprised. It turned out to be Li Qingqing. At this moment, she stood firm and stopped Chen Lang. Tan Fei looked surprised and followed the gaze of the goddess, realizing that Li Qingqing had come to find Chen Lang, feeling slightly disappointed in his heart. When did Chen Lang meet Li Qingqing? The outer disciples who saw this scene nearby unconsciously slowed down their steps, and their gossip hearts burned fiercely. Judging from Li Qingqing's appearance, it must be Chen Lang who offended her. There's a great show to watch. Who wouldn't know that Li Qingqing has a brother nicknamed Guardian Sister Mad Demon outside the door? Offending Li Qingqing is a big trouble. But as soon as Li Qingqing spoke, he startled the disciples who were preparing to watch the excitement. Why don't you respond to my message? Li Qingqing asked Chen Lang with his hands on his hips. What? Sound transmission. Did I hear you right? Li Qingqing asked Chen Lang why he didn't respond to her message. Isn't it? Chen Lang, this kid. Damn it. How could he have the voice of Li Qingqing? It's hard to accept fate. Many disciples stopped completely and unconsciously gritted their teeth. Even some female disciples stopped and curiously looked at Chen Lang Lai. Although Chen Lang looks decent, his cultivation is at the bottom in the Ding district, just an unknown little Karami who is often bullied. How could someone like him be related to the goddess like Li Qingqing? Chen Lang took out the transmission jade slip from his arms and listened to it in his ear. With a puzzled expression on his face, he asked, I didn't receive your transmission, did I? How could it be? Li Qingqing snatched the jade slip from Chen Lang's hand and inserted his spiritual power into it, causing his face to turn ugly. This kid didn't use his divine sense to activate the transient jade slips. Without an activated transmission jade slip, one cannot hear her transmission. Use your divine sense to activate the transient jade slips. Li Qingqing said in an almost commanding tone. Chen Lang acted according to his words, and his divine sense entered the transmission jade slips. I saw a burst of blue light emanating from the jade slips of Chuan Yin, followed by a speech sound. 
Chen Lang, have you slept yet? Li Qingqing's sweet voice can be heard on the jade slips, so gentle that it cannot be ignored. The male disciples who were watching all took a cold breath, and Li Qingqing's tone. Damn it! Damn Chen Lang! The female disciple became even more curious about Chen Lang. Chen Lang looked very ordinary, how did he get the favor of Li Qingqing? Looking at Li Qingqing again, her pretty face was covered in red clouds, blushing to the base of her ear. She stomped her feet hard, snorted, and then fled from the scene as if fleeing. Chen Langlang is in place. He really doesn't know how to use the Chuanin Jade Slip, he didn't intentionally release Li Qingqing's Chuanin. He wanted to explain, but found that Li Qingqing had already run away. In the end, I could only sigh and had to explain to her later. Chen Lang walked towards the cafeteria and suddenly realized something was missing. Looking back, Tan Fei was still frozen in place. What are you doing there? Go have breakfast. Chen Lang shouted. Tan Feiji took a few steps and caught up with Chen Lang, sighing, Do you know Chen Lang? Just now was the closest moment I had to the goddess, and I was so nervous. Chen Lang had a black line on his head and suddenly became speechless. Chen Lang, tell me quickly how you got to know Li Qingqing, and even her contact information. How did you actually do it? In the canteen, Chen Lang took a big bite of mantu and looked up. Tan Fei still stared at himself. Chen Lang, can you tell me about it? I promise not to tell anyone else. Tan Fei said, lifting his palm and placing it next to his forehead to make an oath. Chen Lang gave him a fair glance and said seriously, Tan Fei, when did you become so gossipy? Our cultivators, practice is the right path, and women are just red powder skeletons. Tan Fei's face was disappointed. Knowing that he would not get any results if he continued to ask, he bowed his head and began to eat mantu. In fact, Chen Lang's words are also very reasonable. In this world of cultivation, cultivation is the most important thing. Just as the two of them were burying their heads in cooking, a group of five people, all in their twenties, entered the cafeteria and caused a commotion in the Ding District cafeteria. Although these five people are all dressed in grey robes, they are obviously not disciples of the outer sect of Ding District. Judging from their age, it is likely that they are from Jia District. And the person in charge, with a tall figure, sword eyebrows and starry eyes, exuded a fierce aura, and it was Li Qinghan. I saw Li Qinghan standing at the entrance of the cafeteria, his gaze sweeping over the young people eating, and he shouted loudly, Ding Xiangnan, Su Mingho, Chen Lang. Come out and see me. Chapter 5 Li Qinghan the Mad Demon Who Protects Sisters. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Upon hearing Li Qinghan recite his name, Chen Lang's hair stood on end. I'll count three times and stand up on my own. Otherwise, I'll catch it myself. It's not something that can be solved with just a fight. Li Qinghan's cold words echoed throughout the cafeteria, and all the young people remained silent like cicadas. After a moment, Ding Xiangnan stood up first, and then Su Mingho also stood up. Chen Lang sighed as everyone's gaze had already betrayed him. He couldn't escape, so he also stood up and walked towards Li Qinghan. When three teenagers from Ding District approached, Li Qing snorted coldly and said coldly, Come with me. Li Qinghan led everyone to a deserted corner and scanned the three teenagers with scrutinizing eyes. Tell me what happened last night. Don't try to deceive me with lies, otherwise the outcome will be disastrous. After Li Qinghan finished speaking, he punched the distant mountain wall with a loud bang, leaving a deep punch mark on the mountain wall a hundred meters away. Seeing this terrifying scene, both Ding Xiangnan and Su Mingho had a look of fear in their eyes, and their bodies trembled slightly. When I was about to reveal everything that happened last night, I dared not conceal it at all. After hearing this, Li Qinghan slapped Ding Xiangnan and flew out more than ten meters, then kicked Su Mingho in the stomach, kicking him out as well. Get lost. Next time, never give up lightly. 
Facing the fierce and domineering Li Qing Han, Chen Lang felt immense pressure. The weak have a natural fear of the strong, especially after Li Qing Han threw that punch. If that punch hits oneself, there's no chance of survival. Li Qing Han's profound gaze fell on Chen Lang, and he remained silent for a long time. Chen Lang lowered his head, his back soaked in cold sweat, his forehead constantly oozing fine beads of sweat, and his inner tension reached its extreme. Just as Chen Lang was about to lose control of the pressure, Li Qing Han finally spoke up. Tell me, did you see anything you shouldn't have seen last night? Upon hearing Li Qing Han's inquiry, Chen Lang dared to take a deep breath and quickly replied, I swear to heaven, I didn't see anything last night. Are you serious about this? Take it seriously. Li Qing Han reached out his index finger to press against Chen Lang's chin and lifted his head. His cold gaze swept over Chen Lang's cheek, and a hint of confusion flashed in his deep eyes. There's nothing special about this kid. How can I make my little sister repeatedly remind me not to trouble him? He has an average appearance, and his cultivation level is even lower, so he may not even pass the year.end assessment. In the eyes of Li Qing Han, Chen Lang, an ordinary young man, was covered in the words, trash, all over his body. If it were placed in his daily life, he wouldn't even bother to take a glance. At this moment, Li Qing Han caught a glimpse of a familiar figure from the corner of his eye. He immediately smiled and patted Chen Lang's shoulder. Kid, there's nothing else I can do when I call you out this time. I just want to get to know you. All right, you go. Chen Langru was granted amnesty, and after taking two steps back, he felt his breathing smooth. He bowed to Li Qing Han and his group and said goodbye before leaving. On the way back, Chen Lang noticed the figure of Li Qingqing and immediately burst into a bitter smile. Chen Lang walked towards Li Qingqing and explained the misunderstanding with the Chuanin Jade slip just now. Li Qingqing nodded absentmindedly and asked with concern, My brother didn't do anything to you did he? I told him not to trouble you, but he insisted on bringing you along. What a despicable thing! Chen Lang smiled bitterly and said, Don't worry, your brother didn't do anything to me. But I couldn't help but mutter in my heart, Your brother didn't hit me, but he scared me half to death. Seeing that Chen Lang was indeed not injured, Li Qingqing felt relieved and handed him a brand new storage bag. I see that you seem to be missing a storage bag. This is the one I bought a lot from last time I went to the local market, so I'll give it to you. I was planning to give it to you just now. Chen Lang took the storage bag and found that it was exquisitely crafted. His divine sense penetrated into the interior of the bag and found that there was actually 10 cubic meters of space inside, which could be considered a masterpiece in the storage bag. How much does this storage bag cost? I bought it. Chen Lang blurted out. Unexpectedly, Li Qingqing was annoyed and stared at Chen Lang. Chen Lang realized his mistake and quickly made amends. Come and don't be impolite. Since you gave me such a good storage bag, then naturally I can't be stingy. Chen Lang said and took out a small brown bottle. I'll give you this condensing pill now. Li Qingqing widened her eyes. She instinctively wanted to refuse, but the temptation of the condensing qi pill was too great for her. The day of the year.end assessment was approaching, and she urgently needed a condensing qi pill to challenge the sixth level of the qi refining period. In the end, the desire for the condensing qi pill overcame face saving. Li Qingqing took the porcelain bottle containing the condensing qi pill from Chen Lang's hand, and his thoughts spun rapidly in his heart. He spent only forty spirit stones last night to buy my condensing qi pill, but today he found an excuse to give me one. He doesn't lack the condensing qi pill at all, but why did he do it? Are these all excuses he made to get close to himself? He is so generous in his actions, is it possible that he is a young master of a hidden family who came to experience life in Lingyun sect? Does he have any thoughts about me? Chen Lang couldn't have imagined that Li Qingqing could have so much inner drama. After seeing her take the condensing qi pill, he left. He didn't have enough food just now, 
so he needs to take a few more bites while the cafeteria is still working. When Li Qingqing regained consciousness, he found that Chen Lang had already walked far away. Looking at the back of Chen Lang's departure, Li Qingqing's beautiful eyes flickered, and suddenly felt that Chen Lang was pleasing to the eye. Even a back figure seems to have some extraordinary charm. Chen Lang rushed back to the cafeteria and started cooking. Tan Fei looked dumbfounded on the side. He was originally worried about Chen Lang, but he didn't want Chen Lang to not only come back unharmed, but also to have a big appetite. Li Qing Han is known for his ferocity and strength in the outer sect. Not to mention, he is also a thoroughly protective sister maniac. Any outer disciple who provokes Li Qingqing will be severely beaten by him. Although Chen Lang was not physically beaten, he suffered a severe beating mentally. The terrifying sense of oppression on Li Qinghan's body stimulated Chen Lang's inner strength. Chen Lang is not only a traveler, but also a person who awakens the system's destiny. Li Qinghan, please wait for me. After giving Li Qingqing a condensation pill as a gift, Chen Lang's system backpack contained 18 condensation pills. As soon as he returned to the dormitory, Chen Lang took out 10 condensation pills and gave them to Tan Fei. Chen Langhao said, Tan Fei, you open up and eat. As Chen Lang said, the condensing qi pill tube is enough. Chen Lang ignored Tan Fei's shocked expression and climbed onto his bed to start practicing. At this moment, he couldn't use up all the condensing pills. After giving Tan Fei ten training pills, the number of condensing pills in the system backpack had reached an astonishing 108. Chen Lang, who has so many condensing qi pills, can definitely eat them as a meal, and his cultivation speed can reach thousands of miles in a day. Originally expected to impact the third layer of the refining period in three days, with the help of Chen Lang's dozen condensing gas pills, the impact began two days later. Chapter 6 He Gave Too Much You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. In a dormitory in District D, four teenagers are sitting around a table. Among them was a burly young man with a horse face, who was currently using an ice pack to cover one of his high and swollen cheeks. It was Ding Xiangnan. Thin and skinny young Su Mingho was also present, bowing his body in order to alleviate the severe abdominal pain. As for the other two teenagers, they are Ding Xiangnan's attendants, who are currently discussing information about Chen Lang. Chen Lang didn't get beaten up, did he get entangled with Li Qingqing? Ding Xiangnan listened to his attendant's statement and his eyes showed an incredulous expression. Su Mingho angrily said, Damn it, we're just playing matchmaker and building a bridge for that kid. Now Li Qingqing and Chen Lang are probably getting along. When Ding Xiangnan heard the words, he stood up with a cry of, Miso, and said angrily, Why? I can kill Chen Lang with one blow. Shit, no. I can't stand this. Li Qingqing is my man, and Chen Lang is nothing. Ding Xiangnan said that he will go out to find Chen Lang's trouble. Su Mingho quickly grabbed Ding Xiangnan and said, Can you stop being so reckless? If Chen Lang really gets along with Li Qingqing, we'll beat up Chen Lang now. What if we bring Li Qinghan in? Upon hearing this, Ding Xiangnan's face immediately darkened. He walked over to the table and slammed it hard, angrily saying, So what do you say? I can't swallow this breath. Su Mingho's eyes flickered and he said, My brother Su Mingxin is a disciple of Zone A and has some friendship with Li Qinghan. Let my brother go and greet Li Qinghan first. Chen Lang is just a waste in the Qi refining stage. As long as Li Qinghan doesn't protect him, we will take action to teach him a lesson. Chen Lang has been practicing extremely hard these past two days, taking only two hours of rest every day. Apart from morning exercises, he hardly goes out of the house. Tan Fei brought back three meals a day from the cafeteria. At this moment, Chen Lang's cultivation has reached a critical juncture, and only a thin layer of spiritual barrier remains during the Qi refining period. Chen Lang was sweating profusely and his clothes were soaked through. 
He is only one step away from the third floor of the gas refining period now. Chen Lang opened his eyes, his mind twitched, and a condensing pill appeared in his palm. Spell it. A hint of ferocity flashed in Chen Lang's eyes, and he swallowed the condensing qi pill in one gulp. The pill melts at the entrance and immediately turns into a warm current, rapidly flowing towards the limbs and bones. Chen Lang used the Lingyun technique, and his spiritual power began to boil at this moment, then quickly converged towards the Dantian. Before long, Chen Lang's spiritual power converged into a huge air mass at the Dantian, and then suddenly rushed towards the third layer of spiritual barrier. With a loud roar, the spiritual barrier shattered, and the air suddenly entered a blank space, spreading in all directions, filling the newly emerged space in an instant. At this point, 30% of the area within Chen Langdon's field has been filled with gas-like spiritual power. Three layers of gas refining period, breakthrough successful. At this moment, the door of the dormitory was violently kicked open from outside, and a figure fell into the dormitory. Chen Lang's eyes suddenly opened and he saw Tan Fadi sitting on the ground, with a bruised nose and swollen face after being beaten. Chen Lang, run quickly. Where can he run? Immediately after, a burly figure entered the dormitory, and it was Ding Xiangnan. After him, Su Mingho and three others entered in unison. Chen Lang got out of bed and helped Tan Fei up. While helping Tan Fei up, he quickly took out the transmission jade slip from the storage bag and asked Li Qingqing for help with his divine sense. Li Qingqing, come quickly to room 19 in Ding District, compensation. 50 Spirit Stones After sending a message to Li Qingqing, Chen Lang turned around and asked Ding Xiangnan. Ding Xiangnan, what do you want to do? Ding Xiangnan took a few steps and stepped on the bench with one leg, grinning at Chen Lang. I didn't want to do anything, I just saw that Chen Lang wasn't happy with you, I just wanted to beat you up. Huh, are you still satisfied with this answer? Chen Lang sneered, since we're going to fight, we're afraid we won't be able to do it here. After Chen Lang finished speaking, he walked outside first. The outside of the dormitory is an open space, half the size of a basketball court. Tan Fei gritted his teeth and walked outside, standing firmly beside Chen Lang even though he was injured. At this moment, two on four, both sides are at a state of tension. Ding Xiangnan licked his lips, and the corner of his mouth slightly raised. This kid actually wants to fight two against four. Isn't this hitting a stone with an egg? There is not only a difference in the number of people, but also a greater gap in cultivation. He is already at the fourth level of the qi refining stage and has practiced the body refining technique. Even if he were to defeat two opponents alone, he could easily win. Chen Lang, let's start fighting. Wait a minute. Chen Lang's gaze fell on Ding Xiangnan's two attendants, whom he knew. One was named Han Cheng, and the other was Huang Fei, both of whom had three levels of cultivation during the qi refining period. Han Cheng, Huang Fei, I promise you each ten spirit stones to come to my side. After Chen Lang finished speaking, he took out twenty spirit stones from his storage bag and placed them on the ground, dividing them into two piles, each with ten spirit stones. Ding Xiangnan was stunned. What kind of mysterious operation is Chen Lang doing? Where did he get so many spirit stones? Ten spirit stones. Even if it's Ding Xiangnan, it will take two and a half months to accumulate. Ten spirit stones are a huge sum of money for any external disciple, and Chen Lang surprisingly took out twenty spirit stones at once. Han Cheng and Huang Fei's faces changed and they were at war in their hearts. Huang Fei couldn't hold his breath and asked in a voice, Did you really give me ten spirit stones? Chen Lang smiled and said, This is still fake. The spirit stone is here. You can come and pick it up anytime, as long as you agree to help me deal with Ding Xiangnan. Huang Fei glanced at Ding Xiangnan and turned a blind eye to the latter's pale face. I'm sorry Nange, it's not that I'm not being unfair, it's just that he gave me too much. 
Huang Fei finished speaking without hesitation and walked across to collect ten spirit stones in his bag. Ding Xiangnan chuckled angrily and said, There really is you, Huang Fei. Remember it to me, from today on, Yu Huang Fei will no longer be my brother to Ding Xiangnan. As soon as Ding Xiangnan finished speaking, he noticed that Han Cheng also walked quietly to the opposite side and neatly collected the remaining ten spirit stones. Ding Xiangnan widened his eyes, his face full of disbelief. Han Cheng, did you forget what you said when you first followed me? Just ten spirit stones bought you off. Han Cheng sighed and said, Nange, I'm sorry, I broke my promise. But these ten spirit stones are really important to me. I want to buy a condensing qi pill to attack the fourth level of the qi refining stage. Only in this way can I smoothly enter zone C and practice Taoism. Okay, okay. Ding Xiangnan laughed back angrily and said three good things in a row. Finally, he looked at Chen Lang. Chen Lang, you are such a big hand. I still have one more person here. Why don't you also turn him around? Is it not enough spirit stones? Aren't you rich? Come on, bring out ten more spirit stones. Turn Su Mingho around too. Chen Lang smiled and looked at Su Mingho, who had a proud and coquettish expression, as if saying, I'm not something that can be bought with just ten spirit stones. Su Mingho, I'll give you twenty spirit stones. Come and help me deal with Ding Xiangnan. As soon as Chen Lang said this, everyone present's breath froze. Originally, Ding Xiangnan had enough confidence, and Su Mingho was his close friend. He would never betray him just because he only had ten spiritual stones. He asked Chen Lang to plot against Su Mingho, but it was just a trap to hit Chen Lang in the face. Who knew that Chen Lang's backhand would result in a super double? Ding Xiangnan nervously looked at Su Mingho and thought to himself, Su Mingho, you can't surrender to the spirit stone. Su Mingho took a deep breath, gave Ding Xiangnan a reassuring look, and then said to Chen Lang, Su Mingho, am not. Su Mingho was interrupted by Chen Lang before he could finish speaking. Forty spirit stones. After Chen Lang finished speaking, he directly took out forty spirit stones from the storage bag and placed them on the ground. The spirit stone is here, come and get it if you want it. Su Mingho opened his mouth wide, his eyes filled with shock. Forty spirit stones. After only thinking for a moment, Su Mingho made a decision. Sorry about Ding Xiangnan, he gave too much. Ding Xiangnan looked at his former friend, who now succumbed to the spirit stone and stood opposite him, with a cold smile in his heart. Okay. That's great. Let me see your true face clearly. But do you think this can beat me? Su Mingho's heart sank and he spoke out as a reminder, Ding Xiangnan has already practiced the body refining technique the transformation of the barbarian bull to the second level. His strength is infinite and cannot be underestimated. Seeing that his past friend had exposed his secrets, Ding Xiangnan was furious and shouted, Let's go together. Today, I'm going to teach you guys a good lesson. Chapter 7 Watching a Play You are listening at NovelFull.audio As the war was about to break out, Chen Lang pulled Tan Fei back into the distance. Su Mingho and three others were all stunned. Chen Lang said, Take people's money and help them alleviate disasters. If you're afraid, return the spirit stone to me. The spirit stone put into the pocket is not so easy to take out. Moreover, Su Mingho and the three of them have completely broken with Ding Xiangnan. Even if the spirit stone is returned, Ding Xiangnan's personality cannot forgive them. Su Mingho immediately understood and whispered to Han Cheng and his companions, up. Immediately, Su Mingho and Ding Xiangnan fought together. Chen Lang pulled Tan Fei to sit on the threshold and became a spectator. In the outer gate of Lingyun sect, only those who have broken through to the fourth level of the Qi refining stage are eligible to enter the treasure pavilion to select combat techniques. Before the fourth level of Qi refining, 
external disciples can only learn some ordinary martial arts. So there is a significant difference in combat power between the third and fourth layers of the gas refining period. Su Mingho and his three companions all have three levels of cultivation during the gas refining period, occupying a huge advantage in terms of numbers. At first, they were able to hold the upper hand, but after Ding Xiangnan began to use the body refining technique, the transformation of the bull, the battle turned around. Ding Xiangnan was already a burly figure, but after performing the transformation of the wild bull, he gained another round of strength, like a raging wild bull, emitting a suffocating sense of oppression from top to bottom. Try to avoid his attacks as much as possible and don't compete with him hard. The transformation of the bull has a time limit, and at most one stick of incense will consume Ding Xiangnan's spiritual power. Su Mingho avoided Ding Xiangnan's powerful punch and didn't forget to take the time to remind the other two. Han Cheng and Huang Fei's eyes flickered as they coincidentally distanced themselves from Ding Xiangnan, trying to avoid direct combat and instead engaging in guerrilla tactics. Su Mingho's reminder immediately turned the tide of the battle around, and Ding Xiangnan was like a trapped beast, being led by the nose by the three of them. Ding's face turned gloomy towards the south, and he only reached the second level of his cultivation in the transformation of the wild bull, with only one stick of incense for power enhancement. As time goes by, he will enter a period of weakness, and by then he will not be a match for those three bastards. Ding Xiangnan's eyes turned red at this moment, and his gaze locked on Su Mingho, revealing a fierce expression. Bull Sprint Ding Xiangnan silently recited in his heart, and in the blink of an eye, he rushed toward Su Mingho. His left hand grabbed Su Mingho's collar, and his right hand clenched his fist and lifted it high, smashing it fiercely toward Su Mingho's cheek. Take a punch from me. Ding Xiangnan's advance speed was too fast, and Su Mingho was thrown out with a punch before he could react. He fell into a distance and fainted with a loud bang. In an instant, Su Mingho was solved, and Ding turned south to look at the remaining two people, grinning. In the next moment, Ding Xiangnan once again rushed forward to Huang Fei and punched him in the abdomen. Before Huang Fei's screams could be heard, Ding Xiangnan had already rushed to Han Cheng and kicked him away. All of this may seem complicated, but in fact, it only happened in a moment. In just a moment, Ding Xiangnan completely defeated the three opponents in the third layer of the gas refining period. The combat power after four levels of qi refining and practicing combat techniques is so powerful. Pop pop pop. Chen Lang stood up and applauded, you're really amazing. You truly deserve to be a powerhouse in the fourth level of qi refining. Ding Xiangnan turned his head to look at Chen Lang and said with a grim smile, I've taken care of those useless people. Now it's your turn. Seeing Ding Xiangnan about to attack Chen Lang, Tan Fei wanted to stand up and fight, but was pushed back by Chen Lang. Chen Lang shouted loudly, When are you still going to watch the play? Ding Xiangnan was taken aback for a moment, followed Chen Lang's gaze, and a beautiful green shadow immediately caught his eye. Li Qingqing Ding Xiangnan's eyes were round and he looked incredulous. Li Qingqing, are you also here to help Chen Lang deal with me? Li Qingqing nodded lightly and replied, yes. Ding Xiangnan clenched his fists tightly and his eyes were about to crack. Why? Why are you all helping Chen Lang? Huang Fei betrayed me, Han Cheng betrayed me, Su Mingho betrayed me, even Li Qingqing, you have to help him. Why? Why on earth is this? Ding roared to the south, his eyes filled with unwillingness. Li Qingqing was the leader of last month's martial arts competition in Ding District. With a cultivation level of five levels during the Qi refining period, even if he was as proud as Ding Xiangnan, he had to admit his strong strength. Li Qingqing walked up to Chen Lang and looked at Ding Xiangnan with beautiful eyes, saying, Why always shift the blame onto others? Can't you think about your own reasons? Where did Chen Lang offend you? Do you insist on dealing with him? You rely on your high cultivation to bully Chen Lang. 
Isn't it allowed for Chen Lang to use his wealth to plot against your friend? Upon hearing this, Ding Xiangnan refused and said, Can you do whatever you want with money? Li Qingqing, you like Chen Lang because he has money, right? Upon hearing Ding Xiangnan's words, Li Qingqing suddenly felt a little annoyed and said angrily, What are you talking about? Who likes him? Chen Lang was not interested in listening to them talk and pointed his hand towards Ding Xiangnan. Li Qingqing, take people's money and help them alleviate disasters. Now please help me beat him up. Li Qingqing's expression changed, and he squinted as he looked towards Ding Xiangnan, his figure suddenly moving. Ding Xiangnan used three barbarian bull sprints before, which consumed a lot of spiritual power, and soon entered a weak period. Faced with Li Qingqing's fierce attack, Ding Xiangnan didn't even have the strength to parry, and soon he was beaten into a pig's head by Li Qingqing. You dare to speak recklessly in the future. After tidying up Ding Xiangnan, Li Qingqing clapped her hands and showed an expression of invitation to Chen Lang. Chen Lang chuckled and generously praised. Undoubtedly the champion of our Ding District's martial arts competition. Come in and get the spirit stone. Fifty spirit stones are quite a lot, piled up on the table into a small hill. As soon as Li Qingqing entered the door, he saw the Lingxia Mountain and felt a sense of joy in his heart. She had already figured it out the day before yesterday, speculating that Chen Lang's approach to her purpose was meaningless. As long as Chen Lang can continuously make her profit from spiritual stones, what does he do for? Who would refuse the sparkling spirit stone? After putting away the spirit stone, she smiled and said to Chen Lang, there will still be such good things in the future, just call me. Definitely. After Li Qingqing left, Chen Lang sat down on the bed and let out a long breath of turbid air. Ling Yun sect does not have any regulations prohibiting external disciples from fighting each other. As long as there is no risk of causing harm, the sect generally does not manage it. If anyone gets beaten up, they can only consider themselves unlucky. If it weren't for asking for help from Li Qingqing today, he would have been determined not to escape the beating today. Damn it, it's still because my cultivation is too low. Anyone can come and bully him. In order to delay time, Chen Lang spared no expense in exposing his financial resources and plotting against Su Mingho and his three companions. Ding Xiangnan suffered such a big loss today, and it is certain that he will spread the news about me carrying a large number of spirit stones, which may even attract the attention of the sect. I need to create a good identity. Chen Lang didn't guess wrong. During the morning exercise the next day, many external disciples pointed and pointed at Chen Lang. Words are all speculations about the source of Chen Lang Liying stone. There are positive speculations, but more of them are malicious speculations. Even worse, it is said that Chen Lang's spirit stone was stolen. Halfway through the morning exercise, Chen Lang was taken away by the disciples of the sex law enforcement hall in front of everyone. This scene immediately caused a commotion. Ding Xiangnan sneered repeatedly, gloating at misfortune. Su Mingho and the three of them were uneasy in their hearts. If Chen Lang's spirit stone was really illegally obtained, they would have suffered a huge loss. Not only did he completely offend Ding Xiangnan on the fourth floor of the gas refining period, but he also had to spit out all the spiritual stones he had obtained. Li Qingqing was quite calm. In her opinion, Chen Lang must be a descendant of a noble family who entered the Lingyun sect to practice undercover, and she was not worried that Chen Lang would be punished by the sect. Although Tan Fei was a bit worried, he was just a little worried. Chen Lang's method of taking out spirit stones and condensing qi pills out of thin air is the ironclad evidence of the children of the aristocratic family. It would be great if an ordinary person could have a storage bag, but how could they possibly have the means to store space? Chapter 8 500 Spiritual Stones You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chen Lang was escorted up the mountain by disciples from two law enforcement halls and did not go to the law enforcement hall. Instead, he arrived at the Yuanbao Hall under the leadership of Wu Zhengyi. 
Chen Lang suddenly had some speculations in his heart. He had only exposed about a hundred spiritual stones of wealth before, and this amount could not attract the attention of the sect. It's likely that Wu Zhengyi, a greedy ghost, is going to cause trouble for him this time. He wants to scrape some oil and water from him. Not long after, Chen Lang was taken to the inner hall of Yuan Bao Hall. In the inner hall, Wu Zhengyi sat on a chair, holding a cup of tea in his hand, carefully sipping tea with his eyes closed. Noticing the commotion at the door, Wu Zhengyi raised his eyebrows and opened a pair of soybean-sized eyes to look at Chen Lang. You too, step back. After Wu Zhengyi finished speaking, two spirit stones suddenly appeared in his palm. His wrist trembled, and the spirit stones in his hands flew towards the two disciples of the law enforcement hall. The two disciples of the law enforcement hall steadily caught the spirit stone, with a happy expression on their faces, and then respectfully withdrew and left. After the two law enforcement disciples left, Wu Zhengyi stood up and walked over to Chen Lang, carefully examining him. He stroked his beard and walked around Chen Lang, gradually showing a surprised expression on his face. Are you Chen Lang, who showed filial piety to me with a spiritual stone the other day? Wu Zhengyi was amazed and his divine sense swept away, revealing a surprised expression on his face. In just a few days, you have successfully broken through to the third level of the gas refining period. Thinking of the news that Ding Xiangnan, a disciple from an external sect, handed over, this kid made a hundred or ten spiritual stones with just one move. Even Li Qingqing was willing to be driven by him. Wu Jingyi's eyebrows gradually furrowed, and at this moment, his gaze caught a glimpse of the storage bag around Chen Lang's waist. He took a step forward and pulled off Chen Lang's storage bag. Chen Lang's divine imprint was easily removed by Wu Jingyi, and then he emptied out all the things in the storage bag. A sparse jingling sound sounded, and about ten spirit stones and some daily miscellaneous items appeared on the ground. Wu Jingyi's brow furrowed even deeper, and he asked. Is that all you have on you? Chen Lang didn't answer, just looked at Wu Jingyi calmly, without any fear on his face. Wu Jingyi saw Chen Lang's stubborn appearance, and a hint of cruelty flashed in his eyes. He angrily asked, Chen Lang, an outsider, stole two hundred spirit stones from the Yuan Bao Hall. You can plead guilty. Chen Lang sneered repeatedly in his heart, knowing that Wu Jingyi was trying to find a pretext to frame him and also took the spirit stones he had given to Su Mingho and others into his pocket. Elder Wu, you don't have to go through so much trouble. You want my spirit stone, it's not easy. Oh. Wu Jingyi's tone rose, and his face, full of flesh and blood, showed an expression of interest. He said, how can I say this? Chen Lang carried his hands on his back, and with a thought, a pile of spirit stones appeared on the ground. These five hundred spirit stones are a gift for you, Elder Wu. Wu Zhengyi saw this sudden scene and his pupils suddenly shrank, his face full of disbelief. Chen Lang's storage bag was clearly taken by him, where did he take out so many spirit stones? Is it a means of spatial storage? What kind of person is he? Countless speculations instantly rose in Wu Zhengyi's mind. He wiped his eyes hard and looked towards the pile of small mountain-like spirit stones, his breathing suddenly became rapid. This. So many spirit stones. Can it be magic? Wu Zhengyi's eyes flickered and he quickly stepped forward, grabbing a spirit stone and carefully examining it before his eyes. This one is real. Wu Zhengyi finished inspecting one piece and quickly picked up another. He checked more than ten pieces in one go, all of which were genuine spiritual stones. Now Wu Zhengyi was completely calm. This was just five hundred spirit stones, which the young man in front of him easily took out and even threatened to give him a gift to meet him. He served as a deacon elder in Lingyanzong, and his annual salary was only about a hundred yuan. Five hundred spirit stones are undoubtedly a huge sum of money for him. Are these spirit stones really given to me? Wu Zhengyi looked at Chen Lang with an incredulous expression on his face, feeling like he was in a dream. 
Chen Lang smiled calmly and said, Just accept it, Elder Wu. Wu Jingyi quickly accepted the spirit stone, with a smile on his face. After bowing respectfully to Chen Lang, he laughed heartily and said, Huh, I'm Wu Jingyi. I've met Prince Chen. At the moment Wu Jingyi received the spirit stone, a system prompt sound rang in Chen Lang's mind. Detected that the host gifted Wu Jingyi 500 spirit stones, and the system rewarded him with 5,000 spirit stones. The reward has been distributed to the system backpack. Chen Lang was overjoyed in his heart, but on the surface, he remained calm. He looked at Wu Jingyi's haughty appearance and a teasing smile on his face. Why, don't you say I stole your Yuanbao Hall spirit stone now? Wu Jingyi repeatedly confessed and slapped himself twice. It's not my fault. Previously, it was my intention to falsely accuse the young master. I'm really damn it. Please don't remember my faults, young master, and don't have the same view as me. Chen Lang waved his hand and said, All right, it's just a small matter. Can I leave now? Wu Jingyi quickly picked up the contents of Chen Lang's storage bag one by one, put them in the bag, and respectfully returned them to Chen Lang. Master Chen, I have something to ask for. What's going on? Wu Jingyi sneered and said, Could you please leave a transmission imprint on each other, young master? It would be convenient for us to contact each other. If you have any instructions, I will do my best. Chen Lang smiled and immediately looked up at Wu Jingyi. This person is able to bend and stretch, and he knows how to handle things. Seeing me suddenly giving him 500 spirit stones, he immediately changed his face. The foundation building cultivator in the Tang dynasty actually nodded and bowed to me, a cultivator in the Qi refining period. He is a shrewd person. After leaving each other's transmission imprints, Chen Lang left gracefully. Wu Jingyi looked at Chen Lang's departing figure and his heart suddenly surged with excitement. This young man is so generous in his actions. He took out 500 spirit stones as soon as he said he would take them. No, I need to investigate his details carefully. The fact that Chen Lang was taken away by the disciples of the law enforcement hall was known to the outer disciples of Ding District. However, just as the morning exercise had ended, they saw Chen Lang safely return to Ding District Square and then wave to Tan Fei. Chen Lang went back and forth, during which he only worked for half an hour. Seeing Chen Lang return so quickly, even the elder in charge of supervising morning practice showed a surprised expression on his face. Ding Xiangnan was shocked and angry when he saw Chen Lang returning, and it was Chen Lang who he reported to Wu Jingyi. It is said that the source of Chen Lang's huge spiritual stone is unknown. Wu Jingyi's virtues are unknown to anyone outside his sect. How could Chen Lang be so easily released? There must be some tricks involved. Su Mingho and the others breathed a sigh of relief. Chen Lang's safe return represented that his spiritual stone had come from a normal source, and their spiritual stone did not need to be spit out. But at the same time, they also developed a great interest in Chen Lang's identity. Chen Lang, who usually doesn't show off his wealth, is so wealthy. It seems that we need to flatter him well in the future. Li Qingqing finished his morning practice and saw Chen Lang in the crowd at a glance. Then, with a light step, he arrived at Chen Lang one step earlier than Tan Fei, smiling like a flower. Chen Lang, let's go have breakfast together. Li Qingqing, such a beautiful woman, actually invited Chen Lang to have breakfast together in public. This scene immediately caused a commotion on the scene. Did Chen Lang save the world in his previous life? Damn it, it's so despicable. That's the goddess Li Qingqing. Many young disciples cast curious eyes on Chen Lang, constantly looking for the bright spots on Chen Lang. They thought to themselves that the man whom Li Qingqing could see could not be an ordinary person. Chen Lang smiled at the corner of his mouth, looking at the once unattainable beautiful girl and calmly replied, All right. Chapter 9 Chen Lang Never Sells Things You are listening at NovelFull.audio in the cafeteria of Ding District, 
The atmosphere today is particularly peculiar, with almost all disciples' eyes intentionally or unintentionally glancing in the same direction. Following their gaze, one could see a stunning young girl in green clothes, like a stunning scenery. The girl in green was having breakfast while chatting with the boy next to her, occasionally emitting a silver bell like laughter. The two people who had a great conversation were Chen Lang and Li Qingqing. At this moment, they were whispering about what had happened in the inner hall of the Yuanbao Hall. The gift of 500 spirit stones to Wu Jingyi was not concealed by Chen Lang from Li Qingqing and Tan Fei, so it was unnecessary. After Li Qingqing learned about this matter, his evaluation of Chen Lang was once again elevated to a higher level. Chen Lang, who can easily give away 500 spirit stones, is definitely the person she needs to make friends with. After breakfast, Li Qingqing tentatively asked, Chen Lang, do you still have the condensing pill there? I want to buy one, and the price is whatever you want, as long as it's not too outrageous. After Li Qingqing finished speaking, his face blushed slightly. You should know that she sold Chen Lang the condensing qi pill before, but she took Chen Lang 40 spirit stones. She used the condensation pill that Chen Lang had given her two days ago when she attempted to reach the sixth level of the qi refining phase yesterday, but in the end, the attempt failed. So she wanted to buy another condensing qi pill from Chen Lang and try to challenge the sixth level of the qi refining period again. Upon hearing this, Chen Lang's expression changed and he said, Li Qingqing, you may not know me very well. I, Chen Lang, never sell anything. Upon hearing this, Li Qingqing's heart suddenly tightened, thinking that Chen Lang had no intention of selling her the condensing qi pill. Seeing a disappointed expression on Li Qingqing's face, Chen Lang smiled and his mind moved. A porcelain bottle appeared in his hand. Condensing Qi Pill Li Qingqing's beautiful eyes lit up. Chen Lang stuffed the porcelain bottle into Li Qingqing's hand and said with a smile, I don't sell anything, I only give it as a gift. I'll give you this condensation pill. No more. Li Qing's beautiful eyes were full of brilliance. After hesitating for a moment, he still put the condensing qi pill into his storage bag. How could a person who can casually send out 500 spirit stones care about just a condensing qi pill? Chen Lang bid farewell to Li Qingqing and returned to the dormitory, only to find that Tan Fei's condition was a bit off. Tan Fei, what's wrong with you? Tan Fei gave a forced smile and replied, no, I just feel like you've changed so much these past few days. I feel like I don't even know you anymore. I don't even have the courage to speak to a goddess of the same level as Li Qingqing, but you can talk and laugh with her in a lively manner. Chen Lang remained silent, feeling a sour taste from Tan Fei's tone. After a moment of contemplation, Chen Lang said, Tan Fei, do you know why you feel this way? Because subconsciously, you think you don't deserve to talk to Li Qingqing. You have low self-esteem, so you are cowardly. Li Qingqing has a good family background, is beautiful, and has a high cultivation level. She is the goddess of our district. But this is only temporary. We have enough spiritual stones and a condensing qi pill that can be used as food. Why worry about not surpassing her? Speaking of this, Chen Lang's eyes showed a hint of brilliance, and he quickly took a few steps to lift Tan Fei's bedding. Ten porcelain bottles lay quietly there, with no signs of loose corks. Chen Lang's eyes suddenly filled with anger, and Tan Fei couldn't bear to use the condensing qi pill to practice. Tan Fei. You'd better give me a reasonable explanation. Feeling Chen Lang's anger, Tan Fei immediately became nervous and obediently said, Chen Lang, I. I just wanted to save a little bit. Chen Lang grabbed Tan Fei's collar and angrily said, In this world, cultivation is the way to speak. I told you I have the condensing qi pill, why can't you listen? Chen Lang pushed Tan Fei onto the bed, his mind stirred, and a hundred bottles of condensing qi pills suddenly appeared on the table. From now on until the end of the year, you must finish these condensing pills for me. All along, Tan Fei had never seen Chen Lang get angry. Today was the first time he had seen him, 
and he realized how terrifying it was when Chen Lang got angry. He dared not refute and silently put away the condensation pill on the table. He knows that Chen Lang is doing it for his good. Indeed, he was also at fault and shouldn't have saved pills. Chen Lang, I'm sorry, I know I was wrong. Chen Lang sighed, his expression calmed down, and he said, All right, you just need to know your mistake. I need to practice now. Chen Lang sat cross legged on the bed, waiting for his mood to calm down before swallowing a condensing chi pill to start practicing martial arts. The reason why the condensing chi pill is revered as a treasure by cultivators during the chi refining period is that it not only contains pure spiritual power itself, but also helps users condense their spiritual power, greatly increasing the power of spiritual power. The spiritual power in the body of a cultivator during the chi refining period is gaseous spiritual power, with limited power and very poor impact on the spiritual barrier. When Chen Lang tried to break through the second layer of spiritual barrier before, he had been grinding it for three months without success. Every impact on the spiritual barrier is a huge consumption of spiritual power within the body. Sufficient spiritual power needs to be replenished before continuing the impact. There are three ways to supplement spiritual power, one is to absorb spiritual power from heaven and earth, which is the most time dot consuming and inefficient. The second method is to absorb the spiritual power of the spirit stone, with a moderate efficiency. The third method is to take pills. The pill contains pure spiritual power, which can be quickly replenished into the body with a little refining. So with the condensing qi pill, the speed of practitioners practicing during the qi refining period can almost be said to be like riding a rocket. It has been several days since Chen Lang gave Tan Fei the condensing qi dan, but Tan Fei still couldn't break through to the fourth level of the Qi refining period, which made Chen Lang suspicious. In Ling Yun sect, only by breaking through to the fourth level of the Qi refining period can one apply to practice combat techniques. Only by practicing combat techniques can one have the power to protect oneself in the external world. But Tan Fei, in order to save pills, took the initiative to delay breaking through the fourth layer of the refining period. This is undoubtedly a very foolish behavior. This is the reason why Chen Lang became angry. Chen Lang traveled through and awakened the system, and the future is destined to soar to the sky. If Tan Fei cannot change his mindset and become a strong person in a timely manner, he will not be able to keep up with Chen Lang's footsteps. I hope Tan Fei can understand my good intentions. In the following days, Chen Lang immersed himself in cultivation, cherishing every minute and every second of his time. He needs to break through to the fourth level of the qi refining period as soon as possible and practice combat techniques. Only in this way can he have the strength to fight back against people like Ding Xiangnan. Instead of relying on spirit stones to counter opponents and avoid being beaten, as before. Since that day, Li Qingqing has had breakfast with Chen Lang, and every day after his morning exercise, he takes the initiative to find Chen Lang and have breakfast together. This has angered countless male disciples from outside the Ding district, shouting that Li Qingqing's cabbage has caused Chen Lang, a stinky pig, to be attacked. Chen Lang certainly wouldn't care about these people's thoughts. In his communication with Li Qingqing, he learned many useful things. For example, where is the nearest neighborhood to Ling Yun sect and what things are being sold? For example, what are the powers of the nearby Xuxian sect? For example, insider rumors on Ling Yun Peak, and so on. It is worth mentioning that after the year dot end assessment at the end of the month, there is also a large dot scale martial arts competition jointly organized by three sections. Only disciples who have completed four or more levels of qi refining and have practiced combat techniques can participate. What surprised Chen Lang even more was that the victory or defeat of this grand competition actually determined the mining rights of a spiritual stone vein for the next year. Ling Yun sect has not won for ten years. If they still cannot win the big competition this year, the sect will fall into financial crisis, and it is uncertain which day it will fall apart. Chapter 10 Condensing Qi Pill for Wife Exchange 
You are listening at NovelFull.audio. After Li Qingqing finished talking about the big competition, he blinked his bright and beautiful big eyes and looked at Chen Lang with a burning gaze, pouting with a pitiful expression. Tan Fei's wide mouth could even fit an egg, and he was shocked, with thunderbolts echoing in his mind. Li Qingqing, who used to be towering like a goddess, actually treated Chen Lang plain coquettish and cute. Chen Lang had a bright heart, knowing that this little girl was likely to have failed to reach the sixth level of the refining stage, and came to seek the condensing qi pill. Here. After putting the porcelain bottle containing the condensing pill into the storage bag, Li Qingqing still looked eagerly at Chen Lang. Chen Lang raised his eyebrows and asked, not enough. Li Qingqing nodded like pounding garlic, looking indescribably cute and charming. Chen Lang doesn't like this. There's no such thing as a free lunch in the world. Go to my dormitory and discuss it in detail. Chen Lang led Li Qingqing back to the dormitory and poured her a glass of water. Tell me, I want a few condensing pills. Li Qingqing took the tea cup, but quickly put it down with a nervous expression. After brewing her emotions, she said, I need a hundred condensing pills. Chen Lang was stunned. Li Qingqing's appetite was a bit too strong, right? He gave Li Qingqing a meaningful glance and asked. So what can I get? Chen Lang poured himself a glass of water and drank it calmly, waiting for Li Qingqing's reply. The brilliance in Li Qing's beautiful eyes kept flickering. After a moment, she took a deep breath and mustered the courage to say, You can get me. Puff. Chen Lang drank tea from his throat and immediately sprayed it out, causing his face to turn red and coughing repeatedly. After a long time, Chen Lang finally felt better and looked at Li Qingqing, whose pretty face turned red. He trembled and said, You. What are you saying? Li Qingqing snorted lightly and changed his words, As long as you can give me a hundred condensing qi pills, I will marry you. With a gulp, Chen Lang swallowed his saliva and looked shocked. Don't play so much. It's just a hundred condensing pills, so you have to commit to it with your own body. Chen Lang didn't know what to say for a moment, and his eyes were filled with shock. Although Chen Lang is not clear about Li Qingqing's detailed family background, he knows Li Qingqing's true identity and must be either rich or noble. This is almost the consensus of all disciples from outside the Ding district. But now, Li Qingqing is actually willing to commit himself to obtaining a hundred condensing qi pills. Chen Lang's gaze swept back and forth on Li Qingqing's face, trying to discern the authenticity of the latter's words. Looking at Li Qingqing's serious expression, Chen Lang's heart moved. This little girl is probably sincere. Isn't it a good thing that a hundred condensing pills can be exchanged for such a beautiful wife? If Chen Lang has no idea about Li Qingqing, it must be false. Who would refuse a wife like Li Qingqing who is beautiful, high dot quality, and of high cultivation? Thinking of this, Chen Lang's heart skipped a beat, and he was moved. I am very tempted. Although his heart was already filled with excitement, Chen Lang still looked calm on the surface. After pondering for a long time, he finally spoke up. Words without evidence, evidence with evidence. Upon seeing Chen Lang's agreement, Li Qingqing's tense heartstrings finally relaxed, with a smile on her face indicating the success of the conspiracy. She took out the paper and pen she had already prepared, swished a sales contract, and pressed a big red handprint. Here. Chen Lang took the contract and glanced at it. I, Li Qingqing, hereby establish a written document. If Chen Lang is willing to offer a hundred Ningqi pills as a dowry, I will marry him. There was no problem with the contract, and Chen Lang's mind moved as a hundred condensing pills appeared on the table. Li Qingqing's face showed joy, and he put all the condensing qi pills into his storage bag. Then, he leaned down towards Chen Lang and gave him a kiss on the face. Thank you, husband. Li Qingqing let out a playful laugh and walked away, with a hint of cunning running through the corner of his eyes, leaving Chen Lang alone in a daze for a long time. Tan Fei knew that Li Qingqing and Chen Lang had something to talk about, 
so he left the dormitory for the two of them. At this moment, seeing Li Qingqing leave, he just entered the dormitory. As soon as he entered, he saw the bright red lipstick on Chen Lang's cheek, which immediately petrified in place. Chen Lang only regained his senses when he noticed Tan Fei entering the room. What's wrong with you? Tan Fei extended his trembling fingers towards Chen Lang's face. Chen Lang found the mirror and only then did he notice a bright red lip print on his face, as if he had been electrocuted. He quickly picked up a towel and wanted to wipe off his lip prints, but as soon as he picked up the towel, he couldn't bear it anymore. In my past and present life, I was kissed by a girl for the first time. This feeling was a bit wonderful, and he couldn't bear to wipe it off. After examining in front of the mirror for a long time, Chen Lang reluctantly wiped off his lip print. Turning around, Chen Lang saw Tan Fei sitting at the table with a dejected expression, sighing incessantly. Cough cough, Chen Lang coughed awkwardly. Tan Fei looked up at Chen Lang, with a hint of tears flashing at the corner of his eyes. He choked up and said, Chen Lang, my youth is over. Chen Lang walked over and patted Tan Fei's back, comforting him, red powder skull, red powder skull. Tan Fei, as long as you practice well, you deserve better in the future. Tan Fei sobbed and finally let out a heavy hmm. Suddenly, there was something more in his eyes, which was a desire for strength. The world is vast, and Li Qingqing is just a beautiful scenery in a corner. In the future, he will encounter more and more beautiful scenery, which belongs solely to his beautiful scenery. After Tan Fei figured it out, he no longer felt sad and began to practice even harder. He is only four floors away from the gas refining period, just a little short. After breaking through the fourth level of the Qi refining stage, he can apply to learn combat techniques, which he has been looking forward to for a long time. Chen Lang felt deeply relieved when he saw Tan Fei walking out of his sadness so quickly. Li Qingqing, as the goddess of Ding District, is almost the crush of all male disciples in Ding District. Chen Lang also knows that Tan Fei admires Li Qingqing, but how to put it, in matters of love, it is about one's feelings and wishes. Just as Chen Lang calmed down, he suddenly had a faint feeling that he seemed to have fallen into Li Qingqing's trap. After the morning exercise the next day, Li Qingqing surprisingly held Chen Lang's hand in public, as if declaring sovereignty, causing countless female disciples to cover their mouths and exclaim in surprise. The scene of Li Qingqing holding hands with Chen Lang was like a bolt from the blue, which immediately made all the male disciples in Ding District's eyes crack. They almost coincidentally heard their own heartbreaking voices, and their eyes towards Chen Lang were filled with envy, jealousy, and hatred. If his gaze could kill someone, Chen Lang would have been shattered into pieces by now. That's too much. It's too damn excessive. It's outrageous, it's a big story. How could it be like this? Chen Lang, you bastard. Li Qingqing is my goddess. Wu Wu. Chen Lang, hurry up and let go of your pig's hooves. Many male disciples with reckless personalities couldn't swallow the evil breath in their hearts, blocking the path of Chen Lang and Li Qingqing. I am not satisfied with Zhou Huangtian. Li Qingqing's willow eyebrows stood upside down, and her whole body's cultivation exploded, speaking with a domineering aura. Whoever doesn't agree, I'll fight until he does. Zhou Huangtian widened his eyes and exclaimed in shock, six levels of qi refining. Zhou Huangtian was only a cultivation level of the fourth level during the Qi refining period, and was immediately overwhelmed by the momentum of Li Qingqing's sixth level during the Qi refining period, and fled in despair. Facing Li Qingqing, who had six levels of Qi refining, Zhou Huangtian didn't even have the courage to fight. Chen Lang smiled bitterly in his heart, as he had already provoked public anger. He was sure to face constant trouble in the future. However, Chen Lang is not too worried either. He successfully broke through to the fourth level of the Qi refining stage last night, and today he will go to the treasure pavilion to select combat techniques. Once he comprehends the combat techniques, let these people who dare to provoke know their strength and beat them up. 
this is the posture that a man should have. Instead of relying on Li Qingqing's strength to intimidate everyone like today, 